748 right now. Gene Burke joins us from collegeprepgenius.com. We wanted to get Gene on because there's a growing number of folks who are saying that smartphones are actually hurting the classroom and actually hurting students. And, and Gene, let's dive into this uh, from the start. Where is this coming from? Is this simply the fact that folks are able to look up information on their phones and not learn how to do research, or is there more to it than this? Well, you know, that's certainly part of it. Uh, you know, we're finding that the average teenager is spending 11 hours a day on some sort of device, phone, tablet, computer. And what's happening is they're spending so much time that their nervous system is still developing. And so this continual use of technology is ultimately altering their structure faster and more intensely than in an adult. So it's certainly interfering with their judgment and their development. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a high risk of addiction. You know, one in four, according to the uh, Center of Addiction Abuse, says that they are, the teenagers, that they are addicted to cell phones. And so it's, it's not only affecting our ability to study, because you're right, you just look it up and you don't have to do that kind of work that you used to have to research. Uh, whether it's right or wrong on the internet. And then we're finding also that it's affecting their fatigue because two thirds of 11 to 17 year olds are taking their phones to bed with them mm. and they're not doing, and they're not doing homework. You know what they're doing? They're texting or talking or, or watching movies. So certainly this is affecting their fo- ability to focus, you know, their ability to get some sleep for school the next day. So it's, it's, it's really turning into a problem. Yeah, that's just bad parenting, too. Uh, Gene, what also, what about the ability to communicate? I mean, we, we spend so much time on those devices. Kids do. Are they, are they losing their ability to, say, have a discourse and things like that in school? They are. Not only communicating right now while they're in school, but what we're finding is a lot of these uh, companies are saying that, you know, there's a lot of applicants out there that have the degree, but they don't have the soft skills. They don't have the communication and teamwork skills that they need to, you know, the degree might get them the job, but they can't hold the job because just your basic skills are not being nurtured. And that I think that goes back to the lack of, you know, communication that they're having right now while they're in high school. You know, I, I remember when I was in school, if you had some downtime, if you had a question about things, you would go to the teacher, say during lunch, during recess, whatever it was, during, during the breaks that you had. I wonder if we're losing that. I wonder if kids aren't even doing that anymore. No, I don't think they're doing that because they think, well, I don't need you. I can just look it up myself. And, you know, as you and I know, everything on the Internet is correct, right? <laughs> and, you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. all that information is so true. But, you know, another thing, too, um, they are. They're losing that ability because those teachers, they have that knowledge and experience, and they want to share that you know, with the kids. But, you, you know, even beyond that, you know, before cell phones, our, our kids had time off from their peers. You know, they could shut the door, go home, and then, you know, whether they had a fight with their friend or whether they are being bullying or whatever, you know, it ended at the door. You know, now 24-7, they have that influence you know, coming coming at them all the time. And, you know, our brains need quiet time. We need to rest. We need to be able to bear out our truth and to think and focus. And this kind of noise that's going on all the time is really a barrier to their creative thinking. Is there a way to incorporate digital media, though, and, and, and devices in learning? Is there a way to use them in the classrooms uh, effectively? You know, there is, but even even so, we need to limit it because a 10-year study proved that kids who did all their schoolwork on the computer, those who took notes, you know, uh, those who didn't do the old-fashioned way and write them down and cause those muscle memories in their brains, what happened is these kids could not even answer conceptual questions. And so because it becomes so easy, you know, when you're just typing, you know, we don't even remember our five best friends' phone numbers. We don't even know them because we just plug them into our yeah, that, I'm You know you what? Know? I'm guilty of that, too. Gene, I, I don't know anyone's phone number anymore. Oh, I'm guilty too. Absolutely, yeah. I got three sisters. I don't even know their number. Yeah. Um. You know, I, mean, I could I could tell you my first house and my first phone number. Oh and, yes. You know, I could go back. You know, yeah. back then. But you know what? Well, here's the thing. We parents. You know, we have this is our role, and I, I I'm, I'm a parent myself, and I, I I really say that you know there is hope. Don't you know? No despair because number one, we need to be a role model. We need to emulate it. You know, if we're on the phone or we're on the computer twenty four seven, that's you know that's obviously setting a bad example. But I think that we parents need to set tech-free zones, you know, tech-free times, whether it's, you know, four to seven, which would get the kids through the homework and get them through the, um, you know, the dinner time, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, bedtime, whatever it is. And if, if you're having a trouble, you know, with your kids abiding by that, you know, a lot of the phone companies will allow you, you know, if you, your plans will allow you to shut off 
certain things like at bedtime during school nights. So there are things that we can actually do. And we do this not because we hate our kids. We do this, yeah. you know, because we love them and we want to protect them. And, you know, parenting takes courage nowadays. Yes, it does. Do it. Yes, it does. Yes, uh, Gene Burke, collegeprepgenius.com. Thanks for the insight there. Let's go to traffic. Classic Chevrolet.com right now. Traffic Watch. Laura Houston. <laughs> 